Hello, my name is Brianna Castro, and welcome back to Texan History News. Today, our Texan is Mirabeau Bonaparte Lamar. The, here are some things that happened in the early years of his life. Mirabeau was born August August 16, 1798, in Cherry Hill, Louisville, Georgia. His parents were John and Rebecca Lamar. Lamar had three brothers and five sisters. Mirabeau attended academies at Milledgeville and Edenton and loved to read. As a boy, he became an expert horseman. He also began painting in oils. 1800s. In 1819, he had a brief partnership in a general store at Cowba, Alabama. He, was, he, also, he also was a joint publisher of the Cowba Press for a few months. He married Tabitha Jordan of Twiggs County, Georgia on January 1st, 1826. They later had a daughter and named her Rebecca Ann. Tabitha later got ill with tuber tuberculosis. Mirabeau moved his wife and kid to the new town of Columbus, Georgia, and established the Columbus Inquiry as an organ for the true political faction. Lamar was elected senator in 1829. His wife died August 28, 1830. Texas Army. He went to Texas and immediately declared for Texas independence, so he helped build a fort at Velasco. He went back to Georgia to settle his affairs when he heard the news about the Battle of the Alamo and the Goliad Massacre. Lamar rushed back to Velasco and, inqu and inquired the way of the scene of the battle. He joined the Rev Revolutionary Army at Grocious Point and, as a private. When the Mexican and Texas forces faced each other at San Jacinto on April, on April 28, 1836, Ten days later after the battle, he demanded Santa Ana to be executed as a murderer. A month later, Lamar was Major General and, com and Commander-in-Chief of the Texas Army, but the troops refused to accept them, and he had to return to his civil civilian life. An interesting fact. In September 1836, Lamar was elected Vice President. A Second Chance In February 1859, in New Orleans, he married Henrietta Maffitt, their, their daughter, Loretto of Alina, was born at Mappan, Georgia in 1852. The End Maribel Lamar was a man with great personal charm and impulsive generosity and a powerful imagination. Unfortunately, he died on December 8, 19, 1859 in Richmond, Texas. Thank you for watching Texan History News. See you tomorrow.